Ladies and gentlemen, the next senator from North Carolina, Deborah Ross. as usual. And Richard Burr is the classic example. He says he's for us, but then he tur turns around and does whatever the big money and the special interests tell him to do. And while that might work for him and his bank account, it does not work for the people of North Carolina. We need a different kind of politics, and I'm not talking about the kind that tears people down and calls people names. I'm talking about the kind that is honest and that puts people first. The kind that says, we're stronger together. You see, that's the way I was brought up. I grew up in a small town where we care about each other, where we were taught to look out for our neighbors, to tell the truth, and to stand up for what we believe in. And one of the things that I believe in is that we should elect representatives who put our interests first, not the big money, not the special interests, not the interests of their own businesses not the interests of their own bank account, our interests. And that's not asking a whole lot. But anybody who's looked at Congress knows that that's not what's happening. But there's good news. We can make a change on Election Day. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, because I don't. And I'm not going to tell you that we're always going to agree because we're not. But here's what I will tell you. I will show up. I will earn your trust, and I will keep my word. And you'll know where I stand, and I always will put you and not the special interests first. Now, right now, people in North Carolina are struggling. They're working hard, and people are taking on extra hours, but they're still living from paycheck to paycheck. Their money just doesn't go as far as it used to, and they're not able to keep enough of what they earn. And I've met people through all over this state who've worked hard their whole lives, but they're putting off retirement because they and their families just can't afford it. They're worried that somebody's going to cut their Social Security or that their Medicare is going to be privatized and they don't have the money to take that gamble. And if those hard times weren't enough, we have politicians who make things worse. They give tax cuts to millionaires. They get, try to give Medicare to the insurance lobby and then they have the nerve to turn around and say it's helping us. We've seen it for 20-plus years with Richard Burr. He voted to raise taxes on working people while he cut taxes for millionaires. 
He even has his own plan to privatize Medicare and give it to the insurance companies after taking more than a million dollars from their lobby. That might be how Richard Burr does it, and it may be how the Republicans want to do it, but that's not North Carolina. So if you want a voice in Congress and in the White House that's for the people, then we need to get to work. Together, we will make sure that if you're willing to play by the rules and work hard, then you'll be able to get a good job that pairs pays a fair wage, and you'll be able to keep more of what you earn so you can send your kids to college and pay for the doctor when you need to go and save for your retirement. That's what our country needs, and that's what North Carolina needs, and that's what we're going to get. Because I don't care how much special interest money they have. They're no match for us. We're stronger together, and we are going to turn North Carolina blue in November. Yeah.